Hello! So today I'm going to show you how you can take any image and upload that image into your Cricut Design Center. It's really simple, very quick, and allows you to have access to many more images than you would have as normal. So, first what you'll do is you need to get an image, whether it's coming from Google or maybe a customer sent you a specific logo they want you to uh, replicate, or maybe you know it's a personal image you just want to use. All right, now that you've found your image, you're going to click on the upload icon in the design center. You're gonna click on upload, browse for the image, and select it. Once you've selected, then you're going to see your image. There's three different types that you can use, simple, moderately complex, and complex. The one that I think is the easiest to cut through is simple, but of course you can play around with the other two images. So from there, I like to zoom out and take the crop, and if there's anything that you need to crop out of your image that you don't plan on using, go ahead and do so, otherwise disregard this step. And from here, it's very simple. I like to preview it first just so I could see what my image would look like which is a big blank screen what I'll need to do now is select and erase everything that needs to be removed in other words what I don't need to cut so as you could see what I'm doing here is I'm removing everything once I see my image exactly like I want it to appear then I just hit continue you have the option to save it as either a save as print then cut or save as cut image. Uh, the difference between the two is if you're using a uh, inkjet colored printer, that means you're printing it first and then cutting it. In this case, I'm just going to save it as a cut image. Once I've done that, I will select on the image and click on upload. And from there, you are all set. You will resize your image as needed, add any additional text if you like. Once ready, click on make it, and you are good to go to print it. Keep in mind that if you're putting it onto a shirt, you will need to mirror your image, which basically means that you're reversing it and you're using HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. If you're not putting it onto a shirt, but maybe you're putting it onto a tumbler or a glass or something like that, you do not need to reverse your image. You can just click continue and you are all set. Hope this helped. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel.